what's up I'm back in this video I'm going to show you how to use the border pane layout in JavaFX so um, a border pane satisfies all the layout requirements for a typical Windows based application and the border pane is the most often used as a root node for a scene because the border pane divides its layout area into five regions and these are the top left right bottom and center so the border pane uses five regions to place its content or child nodes for example a menu bar or a toolbar at the top a status bar on the at the bottom navigational panel on the left um, additional information on the right and the main content in the center um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a border pane and show how it works. And let's get started. Open your NetBeans IDE or whatever IDE you have. And let's get started. Here, the first step I'm going to do is to create an empty border pane. So, border pane. And I'm going to call this as root equals new border pane. So now we have an empty border pane and to fix this issue, to fix this error, let's import the layout border pane. All right, what's wrong here? Border pane, okay. And now let's create a scene. Equals new scene. And let's call the variable variable root and let's create the scene size 400 by 400 and let's import the scene package all right so next is to set the stage I mean to set the scene to the stage so let's call the stage right here and let's set the scene all right and what to do next is to set the title stage title and i'm gonna name this as understanding understanding border pane layout and finally to show the stage so stage that show all right we have now an empty border pane and what i'm going to do now is to create five buttons for each regions so um to create the buttons we will have to uh, create the button like this button for example left equals new button and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna name as this as button one all right and let's import the button you need to uh, choose this one right here and I'm gonna copy this and paste it down here three four five all right and this would be top, right, bottom, and center. Three, four, and five. Okay. Now to set the button to each region, we will have to call the we will use the root variable, variable root, to set the uh, region left and call the buttons here. It should be left root that set right, I mean top and top root that set right all 
okay and the other one will be button bottom and the last one will be the center okay now we have an in we have a border pane with buttons inside the regions and let's try to run the this program to see how it looks okay and this is how it looks like so as you can see that our buttons are in their specified region so here at the top left right center and bottom so to make it look better we will size we will modify the sizes of the button so to do that i'm going to go here and set the set the sizes left that set preferred size it could be left 100 let's try 100 and it's it should be double that max value and the top set preferred size um, double that maximum value and 100 as well as the adders the right bottom and center right bottom and center so for the right this is minimum this is the width it should be 100 and double that maximum value for the bottom I think it's okay and we need to replace this to double that max value all right and let's run this program <clears throat> okay this is how it looks like so this is the top one left right center and bottom so that's it and to make the these looks better and easier you will use the scene builder so i'm going to drag a border pane layout here and button And that's it. And if you are going to resize the buttons, you can easily do this to make it look better and easier. Okay. And if you are going to um, Modify its properties. You can go here, um, layout, and whatsoever. So that's it. And I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.